The real reason Shelley Long left Cheers. Shelley Long stuck to her role as Diane Chambers during the not so good beginning of Cheers. Then she left when the show was starting to get off on the right track. Why? What could be the real reason why she had to call it to quits when it's time to rip the fruit? We are going to uncover the hidden truth in today's video. To the surprise of many, on December the 15th, 1986, Shelley Long abruptly called it quits and left her movie role as Diane Chambers in the American sitcom television series Cheers, which was one of television's most popular programs and arguably one of the best sitcoms in the history of television. Interestingly, when the show started off with a bumpy start, Shelley was very passionate and believed in the whole process. Just when it started getting the reception and attention many shows today crave, she bowed out. The show was never the same after she left. It was still great and the crew was amazing, but boy did so many viewers miss the quick-witted fun arguments between Sam and Diane. Now, who is Shelley Long and why was her role so important? Why did she leave at the heat of the movie just after season 5 with 6 more seasons to go? Network executives had hoped to extend her contract for 5 more years, but she wasn't interested in their offer. Why? You'd get your answers in a minute. You probably know who she is, which is obviously why you stuck around up to this point. So we skip that part. Alright, yeah, why did she leave? Well, she left for two valid reasons if you choose not to listen to the rumours all over the place. But first, let's analyse the movie and why her decision to leave threatened the livelihood of the members of the crew with the show and almost led to its end in 30 seconds. After a bad first season and under normal circumstances, the show should have been cancelled. It wasn't, however, because Cheers struck a chord in the hearts of Americans. On Cheers, Ted Danson played Sam Malone, a retired baseball player who works as a bartender for a cosy and interesting bar in Boston, where folks were really communal. You know, the kind where everyone knows your name. Shelley Long played the role of a highly educated waitress in Malone's bar. The entire cast was so amazing, but what the audience most appreciated was the romantic thriller between Sam and Diane Chambers, played by Shelley Long. The audience always wondered if Sam and Diane would fall head over heels in love with each other, adding to the fact that the two were so good together. Without a doubt, they ended up being one of the best sitcom couples. So yes, romance, comedy and suspense placed the show on the map. Long was nominated for the Emmy Award six times during the first five seasons for playing the role of Diane Chambers, and she won the award once. Now, with that said, let's get into the reasons why Long decided not to finish the show. How do I know this? Tons of research, and here I am with the juicy facts for you all. Firstly, she wanted to focus more on her newly established film production company. Long said at the time, her leave was made public. It was a very difficult choice to make. We have done some terrific work at Cheers, but I've decided to give more priority to my family and my newly established film production company. Her film career was off to an amazing start after playing the lead roles in major hits in the industry at that time. Movies like Night Shift 1982, Money Pit 1986 and Irreconcilable Differences 1986 had long set up for success. And as to if she outgrew Cheers or just wanted a change of scenery remains undisclosed to the public. She wanted to leave and she left. The shock spread from the cast to the audience and at some point grew concerns among the cast and crews for their careers with the show. Writer David Lee in an interview with GQ decades later said, Our jaws dropped when we found out that she was leaving. From a writing standpoint, you'd look at Sam and Diane's scenes and go, that's the glue that's holding everything together. There was a lot of concern that Shelley leaving would cause the show's downfall, producer Ken said. So everyone's livelihood was at stake. Danson also admitted, could I be any good? Would people want to watch one half of the relationship? Did she put cheers on the map? Was she the entire show? The scriptwriter struggled to produce believable reasons that would go with Long's departure, without doing anything that would make the other characters unlikable. Real struggle indeed. They didn't even have a script to show a week to the date the show was scheduled to be shot. When Long's final episode, titled I Do Adieu, aired on May 7, 1987, it was the most watched show of the week, with more than 24 million households tuning in. Some praised the way Diane's departure was handled, others said that it was over manipulated, whatever that means. Still, the audience was really disappointed to say the least. Everyone was looking forward to a Sam and Diane wedding, they didn't expect goodbye to be this soon, but Long's mind was made up and nothing could change that. Was this the only reason? Family and industry? Well, let's see. Secondly, Shelley was really hard to work with, according to her crew and co-stars. According to Sun Sentinel, Long's departure was not just because of one huge misunderstanding, but a culmination of disagreements 
especially with her co-stars, who were disturbed by her attitude. The crew also were not happy as Shelley always kept them in the dark as to if she was going to renew her contract with them or not for 1986 fifth season. And she was unapologetic about this, as it falls in line with the diva image she prides herself in, and she publicly admits it. Shelley, in a dissection of the show with GQ, said, I'd have gotten into the routine of going into my dressing room and meditating at lunch. I needed to rest. Just let go of it all. Because I really felt sometimes like I was physically pulling the plot, and it was heavy. I'm sure it didn't look great that I was going into my dressing room at lunch. I wish I could have hung out with the cast and gotten lunch, but it was not comfortable for me to be in a public dining room and eat. It's just not, and I was exhausted by the end of the morning because I tried to deliver as much of a performance as I could for each run through. So she wanted time alone. After all, she was physically overwhelmed with work and it made her grow apart from the team. But that was not the only contention anyway. Here's what the director said. The fifth season was when things started to get a bit rough in terms of managing the show. Assistant director Thomas Lefaro said to GQ, Shelley believed that she was the new Lucille Ball and would spend hours after the run-through talking through with the writers about her characters and the story, just talking it to death. They would indulge her, but they indulged her to the point where they couldn't stand it anymore. The crew, including co-creator Glenn Charles, believed Long did a little too much with her character, especially in comparison with the creative process. She maintained that she was just passionate about playing her character, Diane. There was a scuttlebutt about me talking too much and being passionate about Diane, Shelley explained. But I thought, that's my job, that's what I'm supposed to do so don't tell me not to get involved. This was the drama happening behind the scenes. There is proof also that the way she worked didn't go down well with Ted Danson. He just loved being with her on stage and does not like her so much after that. Shelley also said that she felt that she was repeating herself, coupled with the fact that she was getting a lot of offers for other projects, which she has been turning down. She had a two-year-old baby at that time and wanted to give the baby all the attention he wanted, and Cheers was a distraction at that point. I know what you want to know, what happened after Shelley left? Was the movie ever truly the same after its star left? You might find it interesting that after Long left, the show's rating didn't drop, it rose. Matter of fact, Cheers ratings rose to the highest it had ever been. But maybe because Shelley Long's Diane helped get them in the first place. Fortunately for the cast and crew, Cheers proved to be about far more than the Sam and Diane relationship. Alright, Shelley Long left Cheers and if you ask me, the show was still great but never the same again. Are you like me and you really wanted to see Sam and Diane together when the show finally ended? Or do you think the show ended perfectly? Let me know in the comments section and while you're at it, I'd really love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'd be really honoured if you could hit subscribe. And most importantly, thank you for watching.